Good afternoon, folks. Um, to Hill Diaries. Thank you if you've subscribed already. Um, basically, it's about my daily diaries. Uh, riding my bike, my Christine, my 650V Twin Honda. Hope you're all keeping well. It's, um, it's looking like rain later, but I don't know. We've been experiencing 30, 31 degrees here in Hampshire, North Hampshire. It's been pretty uncomfortable. No excuses for not wearing a jacket, I know. But uh, shoot me. <laughs> We all, um, we all take our chances, we all uh, make our own choices. I generally wear a Kevlar jacket, but in this heat, I know there's no excuse for it, but it's my choice, so. Beautiful day for it. You know, I go to Spain uh, as often as I can and I've never ridden in Spain and I don't intend to ride in Spain because I've known uh, two friends lose their lives over there. They've gone over there on their sports bikes, beautiful scenic routes around the coast, um, bosh, dead. Um, so I'm never going to ride a bike over there. But, you know, you see them all on their scooters. Uh, the girl, girlies sit inside saddle on pillion with nothing more than a smile on hardly half of them bikinis, you know, flip flops and to be honest I've uh, never seen an accident over there they were on their phone then, waving over my side of the road I think what it is, is it's mentality isn't it um, they all drive a little bit mad in Spain, but because they all drive a little bit mad, it, it sort of works. Um, and you don't get the uh, idiots, uh, people wheeling, showing off, uh, and, they, and they sort of stay on their bikes. It's, it's quite bizarre, really. I, I guess it happens, but I've never seen it personally. But, um, yeah, um, anyway. So I don't, I don't um, endorse riding without protection. Um, but then again, I'm big enough and ugly enough, and been riding for many, many years. So this is my choice today, and I'm sticking with it. Well, I hope it's an uneventful ride home, really. Um, yesterday I only got taken out by a car coming just pulled straight out in front of me. Luckily I was going less than the speed limit at that particular time. Um, which I tend, tend to do anyway, because country roads are just... If you don't know country roads, take care, be cautious. Got Farmer Palmer up in front of us and a tractor there. Farmer Piles even. What are you doing that for, car? There's a flipping... <laughs> oh dear. Takes all sorts, doesn't it? We're supposed to be a cooler. Couple of days next. <clears throat> Three or four days of... Um, back down to the sort of mid-twenties to lower twenties which to me yes bring it on go on then around you go then it's nothing there he's indicating left there you go cheers tractor thank you just put my hand up to him he wasn't turning left there he's um as you can see in the mirror there still what this driver's doing i don't know I'm just going to keep my distance. Oh dear, they're slowing down for what reason? They're doing 20 now. Oh, me. Good 
passenger and I'm not a passenger on that car. <laughs> I'll be tch -tch -tch. get a move on. It's not Sunday. Why are they indicating to go over a bridge? Well, that's oh dear. <laughs> well, this is entertaining if nothing else. Trust me. Christ, I thought I rode slowly. This is beyond it. Look, twin uh, uh, fifteen. <laughs> Caution to the extreme. Yep. Which way are you going? Oh, thank goodness. See? That? Oh my God, the size of that man all there. Oh my God. Well, I'm glad they've turned off. There's nothing worse. Somebody like that actually, you know, it's can cause an accident by being too bloody cautious. They could be looking for a place, you know, they could be lost, I don't know, but if it, in that instance, pull over, if you see someone behind you, got my headlights on full, low beam obviously, you know, they know someone's behind them, well, I hope they did, pull over, you know, if you're lost, right, let's give it some beans, bit of caution in case there's horses around the corner, not today. Sixty mile an hour. Nice and steady. Cultural vehicle approaching, taking up most of the roads. It's fair enough, I'm used to it. It's um, part and parcel of the countryside, isn't it? How beautiful it is! Look at that. I've had Christine now three years. Oh, some harvesting going on over there, look. A bit of, bit of the old straw dust. Be seeing ya. <laughs> some of you will know what that means, some of you won't. Simply lovely. Will I sell Christine and get another bike? No, quite simply. I love it. Absolutely love it. Old Pete the pedaler there, giving it some pedal. Very slowly, you don't always up with him. Now this corner, been around here a couple of times, met horses. No, give it a bit, a bit of a wide berth so I can see what I'm doing. Again, keeping to the left, lean the bike, keep myself upright so I've got maximum field of vision. Coming down into a 30. Here we go, just drop it down a gear. Lovely village, greatly. The Dell there, I don't know if you noticed that, you hawk eyes. Plough-in's shut, I think. Which is a shame, they've been battling to stay open for a couple of years, but there's just not the not the call for it. These locals, I don't know if they drink or not, but um, I've been in there a couple of three times, and this bitch has been dead all the time. But I think that's the way things are going, isn't it? Unless you do brilliant food and you got an ace food reputation you, you, you won't stay afloat that is just a pub it was just a pub
still 30 along here. I do hope you get some rain, it's been dry for about eight weeks now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Up to 40. Let's see if my friend's going to pull out today. No, good. Don't panic. <laughs> Cars park all along here and they walk up the road and they go into the catch a train at the railway station there. Saves them paying parking fees. I think it's five quid a day or something. You know. Having said that, the car park does look full. But I'm I think I park down there and save five pound a day as well. Well, that was pretty uneventful. Probably bored to tears. If you're if you're still awake, thank you for watching. <laughs> if you've nodded off, good night. God bless. <laughs> right, this is Deville Diaries signing off. I'll uh, I'll update next when I do another. I'm not, not going to keep doing the bike, the, the, the commute to work every day. There's no point in doing that. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe if you want to. I'll catch you later. Take it easy out there.